please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. <laughs> Greetings and salutations my beautiful nerds, it is I, Rated S. how's it going? Sorry it's been a long time since I recorded a video, uh, unfortunately about a week ago I had an accident at work and I badly bruised my face so I wasn't really in the mood to get any videos done guys so many apologies, I also hurt my hand so I couldn't really do much camera work and stuff but yay, here I am today so I'm well, I'm fine, don't worry, don't panic. <laughs> so I'm back at work in two days. So yeah, looking forward to going back and seeing all my workmates. But anyway, today I am here with a box review for you. And it is Nihon Box. And this is my last June box. So yeah, like I said, I need to catch up with all the July boxes. I know it's August now, but yeah, like I said, accident, couldn't record. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so this box for Ju uh, June is uh, the theme is Natsukashi, which means so nostalgic. So it's uh, meant to be all 80s related animes and 90s possibly. Uh, so far as I remember from their preview, there was uh, Dragon Quest, uh, there was uh, Totoro, and um, there was a random like Sailor Moon-esque like anime in here which I can't remember but yeah fingers crossed this is going to be an awesome box it is a chonker of a box so it looks like we've got plenty of stuff in here to keep our nerdy appetites full so let's get this open oh okay uh, I think they forgot my topper sheet but oh well it just gives us a teaser of what's in here so here's our pamphlet as always to explain what's in it and if you've never had a Nihon box before, if you get one, there's always a little tidbit of Japanese info so you learn a little bit of the culture and history or a little bit about a different anime every month. So uh, this month's theme is uh, tatami mats, which are the mats that are like in traditional houses that a lot of Japanese people sleep on. And yeah, very cool. So I'll read that later because it's a massive load of writing and it's very small for me to read. So without further ado, let's get crack a in because I've been dying to get these boxes pretty much done oh crikey there's a mahusive box in here so that is a figure so yeah uh, with the Nihon box sorry I forgot to mention um if you've never got the subscription like I mentioned earlier <laughs> uh Nihon is around about 30 pounds a month to the UK uh they are free shipping they're a Europe based company and they're amazing you get quality stuff every month you get at least one premium figure or a plushie uh so usually that is 30 pounds so that pretty much covers the entirety of the box guys so it's really worth the money uh, you get one traditional Japanese item, so it can be like a piece of crockery or a traditional fan or some really cool uh, old school Japan stuff. And uh, you get one Japanese snack. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Right. Anyway, let's get back to getting in this box because I'm dying to see what's in here. Right. There's a lot of big stuff on the top, so I'm going to have to get through this big thing first. It feels like a bag. So ooh, it's pretty colourful. Uh, it's sort of like a tote bag crossed with a drawstring bag. Oh, okay, this is the random 80s anime that I've never heard of. I'm going to have to take it out the bag because the um, sun's reflecting on it terribly. It's very muggy outside and the light keeps changing. It's a pain in the ass and I've got my light on because it's just so gloomy in this room at the minute. All right, let's get this out. Hopefully it's a fabric I can touch without having my OCD issues. Yes, it is. It's fine. It's not too staticky. So here's the bag. This is pretty cool. It does remind me a lot of Sailor the Moon. Like it's very very 70s 80s inspired it's sort of like um it's kind of like japanese totally spies <laughs> that's all i could describe it as so this is from a anime called cat's eye and it says 1981 so this is an anime that predates predates me because i was born in 1986 so yeah this is pretty cool i might have to use this for shopping because you can either use it as a, t uh, a carry tote or a drawstring bag so this is very handy for like taking to expos so if you get some shopping and it's quite foldable so it's compact so i might definitely use this when i go to WalesCon in november hopefully if i get my jab <laughs> and i really hope it doesn't get cancelled because the way everything's going right now it's like we're going to go into another lockdown which i do not want to happen because i do not want to be off work for another six months i will go ballistic so anyway that's our first item so i like it it's really different so it's nice to get different animes that you've never tried before because you know you can look into them and you know you might actually like them so uh this is the uh cat's eye canvas backpack uh so youngsters might not have, have might not have the reference but the most nostalgic of you will get excited by this cat's eye to get this cat's eye 
that'd be hot in Japanese, <laughs> uh, product in their Nihon box. This is a manga created by the awesome Tusaka Hojo, uh, the um, manga author of City Hunter, pre pub Pushed between 1981 and 1985 in the weekly Shonen Jump magazine. This pretty bag enhances Takasa's Hojo style with the amazing illustrations of the three Cat's Eye heroine sisters. So yeah, I like it. It's really lovely and colourful and it's nice to get some old school stuff once in a while. So that's our first item. Yeah, I kind of went on there a little bit too much, but you know, it's really cool. I love these boxes. They make, they're so exciting. Open. Right, let's see what else we've got in here. So, ooh, this feels like bamboo or tatami. It's probably why we had tatami on the back. So, ooh, this is cool. Oh, it's a pencil case. So next up, we have our traditional item of the month. So it's a tatami pencil case, I think, because there's pencils on the front. So, the only thing I've ever had tatami was the old sand mats that my dad got from Weymouth. <laughs> That's as close to tatami I've ever gotten anything. So, ooh, ooh, this feels really nice, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a strong smell. It's nice, but... I smelled it before, but I can't put my finger on it. It smells really earthy, but a little bit minty, like pine. It smells like that. It's really weird. Yeah, I know, it's a weird describe you know you know when you get a taste and it reminds you of something you've had before and you just can't put your finger on it it's like a certain sweet or a pudding or something so it's just a basic case so it is really pretty with the colored pattern in it to be fair uh i'll definitely use this for my paint brushes because this is quite a nice wide little bag so i've been doing warhammer and i've been thinking of taking some models to work to paint on my lunch break so this will come in really super handy so really nice i like that so let's just have a look to the boot uh so this is the uh tatami pouch obviously uh in the past few years tatami craftsmen have been struggling finding work in japan no new housing no longer rarely uses japanese rooms with tatami floors and as a solution some of them have started to craft objects like a inasuga the plant used in making tatami just like this little pouch it's a true pleasure to share this kind of item in our boxes well yeah helping out the uh, Japanese uh, craftsmen because you know a lot of the arts that are traditional in Japan are dying out and it's really sad um so yeah I was watching a program later, um, earlier with my mum actually about the Geiku community in um uh, Kyoto and yeah uh, they're really struggling to find geishas now to um to join on his training it was really sad to watch the Geiko be really upset about it but yeah uh hopefully she can train some more Geico but yeah anyway that's the second item I, I, I'm waffling too much today guys it's been so long since I've done a video and I just really want to you know express my nerdness because I haven't had a chance to talk to anyone apart from my fiance who I love dearly and chat about Warhammer and stuff and my mum who doesn't really talk about much <laughs> apart from the cat or the dog <laughs> right let's get cracking we still haven't had our snack yet so that's probably coming up next oh there's another big item in here uh, oh, this definitely feels like the snack. So let's have a look. Oh, we have a Shaman King item. Um, I don't remember Shaman King being 80s. I think that's more late 90s, 2000s. But anyway, uh, these are cool because I've been really into Shaman King recently because I've been watching the uh, the reboot and I love it. And I used to watch the old show back in the days, but the dub was not great and they edit so much out because of all the violence and stuff so i think these are like little chocolates with the characters faces on them uh so there's yo uh asakura and i'm still learning all the guys names again because it's been weeks since i've watched last episode i really need to catch up because <laughs> all the new season stuff kind of took over the last season ongoing stuff so i need to really catch up uh so let's just see what these are first uh because in case it's something i can't eat uh these are onsen manju shaman king chocolates so uh this month a little treat included in nihon box should please everyone in addition to a beautiful packaging representing shaman king characters these onsen manju chocolates are so heavenly delicious onsen manju are traditional cakes steamed with onsen water vapor they are often sold in spa towns and are a pure delight okay i am okay when you say they're done by spas like is it over a bathhouse or something or like i don't know ah uh, look at him so yeah they're little wrapped chocolates and characters so there's uh amidabaru uh yeah i remember his name because yeah he's my fave <laughs> so there's about i just want to smell what they're like they smell orangey weirdly so yeah there's um oh yeah there's sakura oh, these are so cute okay we got uh all right so they're not all of each character so yeah as you can see they've all different little characters on them so i'm going to try one 
I've just brushed my teeth, mind you, but hopefully they won't taste as bad. So let's unwrap them. Oh, look, they've got little, little Manju cakes on the back with a little Onsen logo on. That's cute. I kind of don't want to unwrap these because they're really nicely packaged. I'm terrible with anime sweets because, you know, you don't want to wreck the packaging because it's like a collectible. <laughs> So, oh wow, these look different. They look like, oh, they're like caramel inside. So there's the chocolate. That's like fudge. Oh, these smell good. Oh, these smell really nice. I'm not sure. I'm not really detecting sweet. It's a bit of a bit caramel. Mm. They're okay, but not something I'll go for again, but I'll probably get my partner to try them because he'll probably like them more than me. But that's the problem. I like really, really sweet stuff with Japanese don't really use a lot of sugar. Uh, but yeah, they're really cool though. I love the packaging and I'll keep the wrappers because yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was the snake. So we're down to three more items, I think. So let's just have a few. Ooh. Oh, is this a trading figure? Oh, ah, it's Dragon Ball. Oh, I didn't know there was Dragon Ball in here. And I got a figure and I got my favourite villain, Lord Frieza. Oh my god, he's in the pod as well. Oh my god. If um, you've seen um, videos or stuff on Facebook, there's a guy called Bubba Joe. And uh, recently he went to the American Saiyan Con and he makes the most amazing Saiyan armour and masks he made face masks and he made a full life-size freezer pod that you could sit in and it looked amazing and they got the the original uh ocean dub uh freezer voice actress alinda uh to sit in it and do voices in it and, oh, if only i could have been there i would have fangirled the hell out but yeah i love freezer because he's amazing uh so in this series anyway this figure uh we have piccolo gohan vegeta uh super saiyan uh three super saiyan two no super saiyan two goku so i had to think then we got zalbon we got frieza and Zadoria. so i'm gonna go and open this figure up because oh this looks like this is going straight in my dragon ball cabinet because yeah frieza is my number one villain technically beerus is sort of a villain but no he isn't oh this is so cool okay i'm just gonna open the figure i'm not gonna put the base or anything on because it, it's uh, oh it comes with a little dragon ball as well oh so you get all of them you get the set of seven dragon balls that's cool oh this is so cute so here's little Lord freezer looking super adorbs so yeah this is this is going to be front and center in my freezer cabinet so yeah if you look behind me just there that's pretty much my Beerus and Girls collection and next one down is Frieza and all my other figures so yeah he's going in there front and center oh, 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 oh foolish monkey oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry my camera keeps blurring out so yeah that is awesome I love Dragon Ball so much if you can't tell <laughs> if you can't tell <laughs> uh so let's have a look to the book uh, so these are the uh, Dragon Ball Adverge Series 13 figures. Uh, I've got a couple of these already, actually. I've got various and Whis from the, another series. Uh, so uh, Dragon Ball fans obviously know the Namek Saga and one of the most popular part of Kira Toriyama's manga, Torama. These little figures are from the Adverge collection, featuring all the characters from the part with all the characters I just mentioned. Uh, and there are seven different characters. So yeah, awesome. I'm going to have to get the rest. I really want Zabon and Dory now to go with um, their Lord, Lord Freezer. <laughs> So yeah, very happy. Right, two more items because this video is getting long. So I've been walking too much. So ooh, I think I've got this. It feels like a cup, and I've seen green. So ah oh, no, I got this already. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've already got this. So I'm not gonna take out the packet because I'll probably sell this because uh, I know a certain someone's birthday coming up so i'm probably going to keep this so this is a uh, totoro little drinking mug with a straw so i've got this uh from a yumi twins box and i love it it is a really handy cup and i use it every night i go to bed to have a drink and as you can see it's all covered in totoros and little soot sprites and loads of like plants and trees and it's just super cute and it's all glittery and it's adorable so <coughs> anyway <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Sorry, those chocolates left a bit of a <coughs> aftertaste in my gob. 
<coughs> excuse me whoo yeah whoo mind you chocolates Whew, they're weird <laughs> so uh this is the uh totoro tumbler uh so with summer approaching here's a gorgeous tumbler to enjoy your most refreshing drinks could have done that in the heat wave but there you go <laughs> uh, the design is a uh, diff feature different characters from the movie totoro with leaves trees and plants and is large enough for 500 milliliters to contain your most original drinks uh or eat whatever you want to drink so yeah so cute already got it but they didn't know so not their fault but i'm gonna give this as a present see that's the good thing about these boxes so something you don't want you can pass on to another nerd and keep the nerd happiness going so yeah right i think we're down to the last item which is a huge figure so the only thing we haven't opened is the dragon quest item uh, yes we have a dragon quest figure i've seen my mate sell this online so i had an inkling it might be in this box so ja -ja so here's our figure um I'm not going to open this because I'm probably going to sell this because I'm not a Dragon Quest fan. I have played a couple of the games, like on the DS, but I'm not a big fan of the anime currently on. I kind of watched it and it's it's one of those very repetitive animes, you know. Meet the main character, the main character meets his guys he's going to travel with. They go into a, some guy, want help, turns out to be the bad guy, they fight the bad guy and then they carry on. And it's literally the same every episode and it got very boring very quick. So yes, yeah, as much as the animation is cool and Akira Toriyama does the art for it, it wasn't for me, unfortunately. So yay. Uh, so obviously here's the figure. So this is Dai, the main character, with his sword. Uh, so basically the premise is he's on a island with monsters. Uh, so he was abandoned as a baby. And basically this little grey, like, um golem dude uh who he calls grandfather uh raises him and then basically some travelers come to the island he's all curious because he's never seen humans before and yeah then he meets his princess who's very sonade <laughs> and he helps her but apparently the assistant she's with she's trying to kill her so he can take the throne and yeah and then they fight and then obviously then he travels overseas and meets more humans so and he can talk to the monsters as well and um yeah that's it pretty much that's all i know because i only watched the first couple of episodes but this is a cool figure so here's a uh, better full shot of die looking cool he's pretty battle damaged i don't know i might have to try and go back to it and try because you know it might take a couple of episodes for it to change i don't know so if you've watched it all let me know in the comments below how it goes or should i go back to it you know is it good so this is super cool so this is probably a quite expensive figure because this is a gold release figure which is quite top notch so this is seventh release because usually with stickers if it's got a number on the top that's the release of the figure so yeah pretty darn cool so let's just have a look i feel bad not opening it because i love anime figures but i'm not into it and i don't want it to take up space when i can have a figure that i like so uh this is the dragon quest figure of dai so this figure will bring a lot of nostalgia with dai the hero of dragon quest the manga is inspired from dragon quest a video game released between 1989 and 1996 in the weekly show and jump it is still very popular to this day a new anime launched last year and that's why many goodies like this beautiful figure are being released for the occasion and we hope you find a spot for it in your collection well i'm going to give this to someone who will appreciate it more than me so <laughs> yay i'm not sad it's really cool that i get this but you know you can't get everything you like in the box that's the thing you pass it on to somebody else make someone else happy <laughs> like i just said right so anyway guys that was everything in the june box so this was a amazing box so just to quickly recap we had the cool cat size 80s backpack we had the lovely nostalgic tatami map pencil case we had the weird but cool and really interesting tasting chocolates from Shaman King. My favourite item of this box, the Lord Freezer minifigure. The really cool tumbler. And obviously the Dragon Quest figure. So guys, that was it. So what was your favourite item in this month's box? And have you watched any of these old school animes? Let me know. So I need to go get a drink guys because it is boiling and hot in here and I need a drink. So until my next manga figure war have up <laughs> or box review guys, I'm going to say sayonara, stay ready, stay happy and stay safe my peeps. Bye.